History Month, and while people are celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King, the Civil Rights Movement, and of course Bill Cosby, people forget about one African-American staple that's changed the world forever. The do-rag. Since ancient times, people have strived to get waves in their hair. Egyptians used to wrap their hair using papyrus leaves for just this. Nkat An was one of the first people to take an aerial view hieroglyph of his waves, but the line left around the forehead showed a lack of respect for the wave god and all offenders were thrown into the lake of tar. The do-rag evolved over the centuries but didn't have the name until a man by the name of Dumont Ragger manufactured and branded the legendary do-rag. This where it all starts, y'all. I remember I used to be Niha! Niha! Now you know this when my grandfather started the factory, right? Well, he didn't create the do rag per se, but it being a businessman, he is. He saw the opportunity, shouted. So, you know, he, he named it, he manufactured it, but most importantly, gave people without ways hope. Hope. Say it with me, my brother. Hope. The popularity of the do rag rose to its highest during the late 90s. Most notably, with rapper Do Raggedy's hit single, Do Rag with the Flap Out. Do Rag with the Flap Out. Do Rag with the Flap Out. Man, we had it all. So many different types of Do Rags. We had Khaki. We had Leopard. We had Safari. We had Animal Planet. We actually had uh, Toy Story. Toy Story. Uh, Toy Story camouflage, colored. We had. Come on. We were actually sponsored by Fubu. It was for you by you do rags, navy blue. We had marine green. Uh, we had east and west coast beef colored. Um, we had gigapet. <laughs> so when was the last time you took off your do rag? I, I don't understand. What's the question? So your waves must be pretty amazing. Listen, does a duck have wings? I don't know. I can show you right now if that's what you like. I can show you right now. Please. Do-Raggedy's waves were so intense that we had to cut to a clip of actual waves to simulate the intensity for our more squeamish fans. As the early millennia came and went, so did the popularity of the do-rag. With the re-emergence of different hairstyles, the need for do-rag seemed to take a back seat. Many people believe, once white people began wearing it, the do-rag was doomed forever. I'm not rapping anymore but I'm still trying to sustain the do-rag movement with my new organization, DFHWT. That stands for do-rags for heads without them. Non-straight hair does not fit into the European concept of beauty. African Americans have embraced their natural ideas of what beautiful is in the past, they do it now, and will do so for years to come. And the do-rag has assisted in this. I'm Jerome Hansen. Dateline NBC. My new rag is my hair up. DT, yeah, we act out. You don't know what that about.